A three-judge bench has slammed breaks to the enactment of Social Health Insurance Fund, Digital Health and Primary Health Acts of 2023, the law that would have effectively replaced the National Health Insurance Fund, NHIF. Justices Alfred Mabea, Robert Limo and Lawrence Mogambi faltered the process of formulating the new health insurance law, which they say was devoid of sufficient public participation. We agree that there is reason for apprehension as ex expressed by the petition. This is so because the current section was introduced ignoring a key principle under Article 201A, which emphasizes on the need for openness, accountability, and public participation in financial matters. Further, the question that lingers in our minds is, why was the new Section 38 introduced without the benefit of public participation? The court also took issue with the failure to consult and involved the Commission on Revenue Allocation in the process. There is no evidence to show that the Commission was consulted or invited to make any recommendations on the three impugned legislations. The bench further says some sections of the Act contravened the Constitution and wondered why the process was undertaken so hurriedly. The haste with which they were enacted infringed on the national values and principles of the Constitution. And as much as we appreciate the noble intention, we cannot disregard the clear constitutional tenets which binds us. Article 20 requires us to promote and protect the values that underlie an open and democratic society and the spirit, purpose and objects of the Bill of Rights. As a consequence, the court has directed Parliament to amend the Act in 120 days failure to which the program shall remain suspended until constitutional compliance is satisfied. Let Parliament undertake sensitization, adequate, reasonable, sufficient and inclusive public participation in, a con in accordance with the Constitution before enacting the said acts and amend the unconstitutional provisions in terms of this judgment. The program required all Kenyans above the age of 18 years to register with SHIF, and the Minister of Health had rolled out mass registration on 1st of July. It was in the court's finding that the program had burdened a few individuals who were supposed to contribute 2.57% of their gross salaries to SHIF, thus creating disparity in the contribution. The ruling sends the government back to the drawing board as the implementation of the program, touted by its proponents as holistic and effective in fixing the health sector in the country, remains uncertain. Kwanzia tare moja mwezi wa kumi, sasa tutaanza ile program yetu ambayo tulipitisha sheria ya universal health coverage. Ili tuakikishe ya kwamba hakuna mkenya anaenda hospitali na aulizwe pesa, ata kama hako na ugonjwa wa inagani. The petition was filed by Joseph Aura, the Kenya Medical Practitioners, Pharmacists and Dentists Union, the Union of Kenya Civil Servants and other health bodies. Timothy Simwa K, 24TV.